Still think AI can't take over the world? Watch till the end and let me know what you think. You know, often when people think about the search for extraterrestrial life, they're thinking of someone with headphones listening in on something that is sent to us, something that's obvious. It's, it's really not like that. It's a lot more subtle. And that's why we're going to be collecting enormous amounts of data. All of the different parameters we might have to explore. Set that volume, that exploration volume, set it equal to the volume of all the oceans on the Earth. So how much have we done in 50 years? Well, we've searched one glass of water from the Earth's oceans. The technologies that we've had to use until now were not big enough, not adequate to the job. Okay. That's why we need computer systems and artificial intelligence systems to really turn that search on its head. What's extraordinary about AI is that we're teaching machines how to learn. This is why it's a quantum leap, because for the first time, instead of human beings writing the software, the computer is actually building an understanding itself. The whole point about the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is you don't even, it's a, we don't know what we're looking right, for. Right. Instead of looking for something specific, you have to look for the exceptions from what is normal. Like and subscribe to stay ahead.